We are the KNR Rover Team, a part of the Students' Robotics Association at the Faculty of Power and Aeronautical Engineering at Warsaw University of Technology. Since 2005, KNR's story has been a testament to human creativity and technical mastery. With the unified goal to pioneer cutting edge robotics and international championships, our journey began. From humanoid robots to autonomous underwater vehicles, our ambition you know bounds, culminating with the creation of our rover, the HAL 062, in 2018. Throughout the evolution of our rover designs, we faced numerous challenges, from the demanding tests of the University Rover Challenge to the rigorous competitions of the European Rover Challenge. Each contest has served a crucible, shaping both our rover's capabilities and our team resilience. Yet our mission extended far beyond championships and triumphs. With each iteration of our rover, we embraced the opportunity to inspire new generations. Throughout numerous science fairs and school visits, we aim to ignite the spark of curiosity in the young minds of the future. At the heart of it all is our ever-expanding team, currently composed of 35 members. The rover section is divided into six main departments – electronics, software, mechanics, science, autonomy and drone. First, the electronics section is led by Dominik Milak and consists of seven members from different faculties. The coordinator of the software section is Krystian Czechowicz, who leads the group of seven people. One of the biggest section, mechanics, includes ten members under the leadership of Mikołaj Stasiak. The science section, which presently consists of four members, with Tomasz Chelinski on the leadership. The autonomy is conducted by Marcel Zawadzki, who is also the coordinator of the entire project. This section brings together ten members. Last but not least, the drone section with three members with Dominik Chmielak as a leader. Every component of the rover, from mechanical parts to electronics and software, was meticulously crafted by our team members, showcasing our dedication to craftsmanship and innovation. With stability and modularity at the forefront of our design, our rover features a universal rail at the front, enabling a swift mounting of task-specific modules. Additionally, each component, from the suspension system to the manipulator, is crafted to handle the challenges of rough terrain and complex tasks. The rover features a six-wheel drive system with a rocker bogey suspension, allowing it to traverse through difficult terrain effortlessly. The drive modules are powered by PLDC motors, ensuring high torque and reliability. Even on steep inclines, the rover maintains stability and control, thanks to its advanced suspension system. Our safety systems include an emergency stop button that halts the rover instantly. Additionally, if communication is lost, the rover will automatically stop to prevent accidents. Our rover runs on lithium-ion batteries, offering over an hour of continuous operation and minimizing the need for frequent recharges. A meticulous battery management system optimizes power usage for efficiency and longevity. For seamless communication, we employ a control area network CAN, to facilitate data exchange among onboard components, enhancing performance and responsiveness. Furthermore, a dedicated rail system allows for easy integration of STM32-based electronic PCBs, serving as the command center for precise control of all rover peripherals in various environments and tasks. Our rover can be operated either via a dedicated desktop app or a specially designed operating panel. The communication system utilizes an elevated mast to establish a robust 2.4 GHz link with the rover's mast. By employing dual antennas, it ensures high reliability. Low latency video for real-time navigation is provided by six 5.8 GHz analog FPV cameras. The vision system is complemented by high-resolution digital cameras. One of them offers full 360-degree view. In our new approach to the autonomy, we utilize the Z to depth camera and an external IMU to perceive the environment. The sensors are connected to an onboard computer equipped with an NVIDIA GPU. While ROS2 forms our software's foundation, its heart is a visual slum, an accurate visual inertial odometry. 
Our software also performs environment mapping, while NAV2 handles local and global navigation. During the development, we place significant emphasis on advancing computer vision systems. We've developed an extension system that allows us to mount both the drilling module and the manipulator simultaneously. We follow it as necessary to be ready for all upcoming missions. Our rover is now capable of acquiring both rock and loose surface samples, as well as extracting material from deep underground. All taken samples are stored in onboard containers. Our drilling module is able to drill up to 30 cm below the surface. Its main design goal is to allow the rover to capture multiple samples from different sites and safely carry them back to base. The manipulator, with its 6 degrees of freedom, allows us to perform precise operations. Equipped with BLDC motors and absolute encoders, it can lift objects up to 6 kg and execute complex tasks with ease. In the field of software, the manipulator has been equipped with inverse kinematics algorithm. This allows us to partially automate sections of tasks to minimize the workload put on the operator. This year, we developed a new KNR drone based on a free tiny whoop carbon frame with an added platform for the flight controller, Raspberry Pi Zero, GNSS module and 5 GHz Wi-Fi antenna. It is powered by four BLDC motors and two parallel LiPo 4S batteries. A flight controller ensures stability and communicates with the Raspberry Pi via MIE AV Link. A downward facing digital camera and GNSS receiver support navigation. The drone streams video and telemetry to a ground station via Wi Fi. A manual RC transmitter allows the pilot to take control at any moment, ensuring safety. Flight paths are calculated externally using a MATLAB algorithm that considers mission data and constraints. Waypoints are sent to the drone, which uses Aruco marker detection fused with GNSS data for localization. As we get ready to face new challenges, we're excited to showcase the capabilities of our rover and demonstrate the culmination of our hard work and dedication. We're looking forward to competing in this year's European Rover Challenge. Thanks for tuning in and joining us on this adventure. Let's keep discovering and innovating together. See you at the ERC.